G'day guys, Calvin, Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I'm about providing solutions, fixing problems, not making excuses. So as you know, I, I sell wiring instructions, but I also sell a, a little range of relays and fuses to help people solve their issues. In front of me, I have UCF 20 wiring loom. So this one is off a, let's see, I think it's off a Celsius. We'll just double check to see if it's Celsius. We've got a six pin, my number one injector, and we've got a four pin. So yeah, that is Celsius. So this is JDM. Very distinctive, we've got this big white plug. So I want you to pay attention to that big white plug. That is important. Stock standard loom. It is a second hand loom. It's actually a pretty good order, this one. The normal stuff spoiling the bits. Got the covering. But overall, I'd be pretty happy if someone sent me that to fix. And I wish they were all like that. So we've got a reasonable loom. I'm going to shell it on this engine. And then I'll show you my solution to making this run really, really easily. More carrots. More carrots. More carrots. Where's carrots? Ready ho, engine loom's fitted. I'm gonna pop fuel pump supply on here. I went to my cupboard and I got a few ECUs. Uh, I got that one. So that is a US domestic market, UCF20 with the white plug, but I'm using a JDM loom, so the igniter wires, the IGT wires around the wrong way. So that's a, that's a JDM Crown, 151 Crown, but I thought I would go with that OBD2 US Domestic Market ECU. So this one here, this little unit, this set of relays and fuses, you can see here it comes with like a universal plug. Spare one in the box. There are eight wires to connect. Two fuel pump circuit, coil and injector pair, a start, STA, low start trigger, the big start trigger to the starter motor, power supply to the engine, and an earth. Pretty simple. So that's eight wires to connect. Well, technically two of them get joined together, so it's nine, so that one there. Um, so I actually just, I whipped up an adapter there to that. You know, see there's that white, the big white plug? Plug it in. Ignition on. Start input here. There's a fuel pump on the end, fuel pump. Ignition in there, start there. Probably pay to put some of these on. So that's a really, really simple option of getting your UZ going. As you can see, I've used a stock standard loom. There's only nine wires to attach out of the big 26 pin plug, big white body plug. Of course there are uh, wires like the temp gauge and, and things like that, and they check engine light. But they aren't technically needed to get this one going. It also allows, on this case, it's an OBD2, so it allows for communications. And we've got the communications through the OBD2 port. This is the most basic one, doesn't have a start relay on, 
perfect for the manual swaps, especially where they've got a, a, a known good source for a, for a starter motor supply. So that's option number one. With this particular setup here, OBD2 is on a switched ignition, so you can run like a little box. It doesn't on permanent power like a lot of OBD2 uh, are wired. Of course, if you're running an auto, uh, this setup isn't strictly for an auto yet. I I can do it. It's really simple, okay. But I have to add some more wires. But as part of doing that, I've made the same unit as this, but with a start relay. Let's have a look at number option number two. When I find it, so there. So this setup is the same principle, but we've got a start relay. Same deal, it's got the plug that goes into the ECU. OBD2 plug. The same nine wires need to be adjusted. I do supply the other side of the plug and I do supply the crimps. Main battery power. Possibly through a fuse is a good idea, like a main fuse. Mission in. I'm going to plug in the OBD2. You're in your muffs, Chase. It's only a second. Fuel pump on the outside. And vroom vroom. Someone asks for a setup that's an auto, this is the one I'm generally going to adjust with that start relay. Most of these that I supply are for manuals at this point in time. However, I have made sure that there is some adjustability, adaptability going forward. Now both of those are really cool, really neat, really good if you are doing a conversion and you're modifying the loom and wanted to delete that 26 pin plug. However, wouldn't it be cool if there was one with that 26 pin plug on it? Right, option three. Four relays, ignition, EFI, changeover which is the fuel pump start I've done a resistor for the secondary fuel pump code which a lot of people still get wrong uh, main battery power but look at this one Ooh, look at that so now we plug it into the ECU over there bang and straight into that plug there Out of the loom, really easy. We throw ignition on here. Bam, here's some clicking, which is nice. Get enough there. Get enough for doing your uh, dirty old Hilux. Dirty old Hilux. Coal burner. Oh, <laughs> this way makes it really, really easy because there's no cutting into the standard loom. Those factory plugs, I used to get them second hand, go for a wrecker aid, because they're still good and I've got new terminals for them, new plugs. New, new, no, new connectors. No, that is a connect. No, and I've of course got new terminals for them. However, I've used all of them, and often dismantlers aren't that keen to go raiding vehicles. So I managed to find a good supply of them, brand new, genuine Toyota. Hey, it does increase the cost a little bit, 
but I think it's a really neat way. And it is gonna make it easier for me for doing those auto ones. So the auto ones are only gonna come with that 26 pin plug on it. Funny enough, all of these bring up transmission solenoid codes. Possibly there's not a transmission attached. As I said earlier, this is about finding solutions, not excuses, not making problems, making it as easy as possible. Of course, I do sell wiring instructions, and I've sat down and done like an hour's worth of video showing how I make these relays and fuse setups, which you can buy as part of my wiring instructions. And if you get UCF20, and if the videos don't come through, just make sure you ask me. I'm slowly converting all my instructions into video series as well. But what if you wanted another option? You wanted a bit more of a neater, more enclosed fuse box. Possibly with the same footprint as this. Well, I can do that too. So one of the reasons I run this sort of setup is it's easy to tack extras on, fan circuits on, adjust it to suit. And I've got no problem if you don't have, say, the big plug that, um, that I feed my main power in, even though I do supply one. Um, say you wanted something different, that's more available where you are, cut that plug off, no problem. Don't have a problem with these being modified. We, we, we work in an industry of modified vehicles, so it's just fine to cut them up. Just not too much cutting up. But let's say you wanted something just a little bit different. I've made one up for a customer. There was a stuff up with the worldwide freighting stuff, and somewhere in the world, there is one of my relay boxes that's just gone missing. And the freight company's blaming that freight company, that freight company's blaming that freight company. I don't give a shit. Again, no excuses, just get it sorted. It's taken me a while to get, because I have been busy, but I've made up something a little bit special for them, a little bit different with the big plug, with slightly different upgraded fuse, fuse boxes and relay boxes. Instead of this setup, I've got that setup, which is just the same setup but it's in a different box. Same relays, EFI, ignition, changeover, which is the fuel pump and start. Same set of fuses. I've got a couple of extras. On this one, I've put in a OBD2-12, which allows the pin to be moved from there to there, allowing the OBD2 to be powered up as factory on 12 volts, uh, on, on battery voltage. I've got an accessory wire, if you want to run accessories out. And I've got, included of course, is a few terminals. Fused, all the same setup. You right there? Oh good. A lot of noise happening over there. And again, factory plug, OBD2, and ECU. Permanent 12 volts in here. That one leaves. So I think we might do some amp testing. We can do, probably do it on this one. And with that, slides that in like so, into the ECU. Fuel pump, marked as a uh, fuel pump. And I'd better get the other side of that plug. So along with that big 12 pin, along with the battery power, there's also the fuel pump. Connectors, I should say connector, eh? Fuel pump connector wall. Done. Maybe the two. So this one, very, very similar. It's got this little white plug. Probably should give the other side of this too. Ignition goes in.
and hopefully they can tell the difference between the connectors. One's got little, uh, the single one's got an extra little rolled piece and it's slightly shorter. I've given two of those just in case they make a stuff up and three of the other ones for the ignition. So there you have four different options of relays, fuse setups, all for a UCF20. If you want to make them yourself, by my wiring instructions and I'll show you how to make a product that I sell. Or if you want me to make it, mil spec wire, factory plugs, bits and pieces, then you can buy them off me, tell me which one you want, and we can sort that out. So I hope that's been helpful. I'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.